Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and today they had the closing argument in the Fannie Willis saga, and folks, things are getting real bad for old Fannie. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Fannie Willis sat in the courtroom today, didn't have to be there. But she sat there, attitude in hand, ready to roll, ready to stare down the judge and everybody in the courtroom as if she's not a liar, as if she's just been a truth teller who's been victimized by this whole thing. And she sat there and just defiantly. And Megyn Kelly, just days before, actually a day before, she read the text messages between Nathan Wade's attorney, Nathan Wade's divorce attorney, and one of the attorneys representing the defendant in the Trump case. And she said it's plain as day. Nathan Wade, in her opinion, Nathan Wade and Fannie Willis committed perjury. And they're lucky if they don't face felony charges. That they could actually face felony charges. That this whole thing could end with Fannie Willis being the one behind bars. Now, Leo Terrell says, even though she could be charged for perjury... Her act today was an act of defiance. I want you to hear him and the Fox News crew talk about this. And then I want you to give me your opinions. Should Fannie Willis go to prison? Folks, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. This is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Uh, Shannon, you and I were talking about this uh, just before the uh, court wrapped up there. Uh, this whole case would seem to hinge on a single text message. And that was the text message when Ashley Merchant said, did this start before he was hired? Terrence Bradley responds, absolutely. But then I, I said to you, well, would it, only be conf would, would it only be inappropriate and conflict of interest if this relationship started before? And Fonnie Wallace is there in court. Before he was hired or if they had a relationship after that, would that be inappropriate as well? Well, and that's the whole question, is that this money was it intended to flow in a way that was going to benefit her. But now it's gotten so much more expansive beyond that question. And you heard a couple of the attorneys saying there, this isn't a perjury trial. This judge doesn't have to decide if somebody lied under oath mm -hmm. or not. But as a fact finder in this proceeding, he does have a chance to make assessments about credibility. And there have been a lot of people on the stand who've told differing stories to different people at different times. All of that he can assess. Mm. And remember, if uh, D.A. Willis is disqualified, that means her entire team, her entire office would be blocked from prosecuting and moving this forward. There's a state agency that would then come in and see whether this is assigned to a different D.A. somewhere else in the state. Obviously, that would be a massive delay. It could change the very structure of the court, the charges, the defendants, all of it. Um, but there is a chance this judge says, hey, you haven't come to me. There was a lot of talk about who has the burden of proof. You haven't proven to me beyond a shadow of a doubt or beyond a question of credibility, whatever the burden is here, that there was actually something going on here that was nefarious and unethical. Only Scott McAfee can make that decision. And you've heard him. He's been very neutral. He's been very blunt. You heard one of the attorneys there saying, can I have time for rebuttal to come back at the end? He's like, nope. Uh, so he's trying to play by the rules and say, like, we're going to wrap it up today. Yeah. Um, Leo, perhaps this will be the final thought as uh, Fonny Willis, as you can see on the screen there, has entered the room, taken her seat. And the judge said they'd be returning at 240. Quick thought before we get back in here. No question. When the fact that she's in the courtroom, Sandra, John, <laughs> Shannon, Kelly, she's going down with the ship. She's going to go. She's not going to drop out. She's going to go down to the go down with the ship and force the judge to make a ruling. That's her presence there is a sign of defiance.